we're out here at the Brighton Resort today. I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is old Utah's oldest ski area. It's located just right next to Solitude. We just rolled up here after a day at Solitude at about 4 p.m. to get a little twilight skiing, a little night skiing here at Brighton. Figured because it's on the Icon Pass, I might as well check it out. Really, really gorgeous views here at the top of Brighton. And out into the valley down there. It's starting to stay a little lighter later, so we should have a few more runs before we're under the night lights. It's always fun doing a little night skiing.
All right. Cut me off, bud, or what? Oh, man. Gotta watch out. People will try to snipe you right by you. Surprised they haven't been closing the trees. up here. here every lap to look at the sunset. 
beautiful Utah sunset. Land. Majestic terrain park. Little big mountain features and the park. <laughs> oh. Jump line here. Looks like a little natural progression from jump to jump. Oh, 
cool little spot here. It's been a while since I got a little night skiing in. But I'm going to check out the Brighton Center here. Get warm, get a snack. And I think we'll get a few more laps under the lights. Back up here under the lights. They even got lights on some of the mogul runs here. This place is kind of free range, more free range than skiing at uh, Keystone or for example, no ropes. So if you want to decide to go in the trees at night, it's on you. Ha 
losing any lights back here. Day out here at the Brighton Resort. That was it. Great night out here at the Brighton Resort. The second mountain we've checked out here on our Utah trip. We're about to go home and rest up back to the hotel because tomorrow we got Alta and Snowbird. But that was the Brighton Resort located up big cottonwood canyon here